Hi guys, Steph here. Now what we've got for you today is another beautiful and not only beautiful but an interesting fountain pen. Now I've shown you lots of pens that some of them don't have a name on it or they have a strange name that we don't know who the name is or who made the pen for who and this is a similar a similar pen. As you can see this one comes in this lovely um, mottled red hard rubber this pen when it came to me it was a bit of a sorry state needed a lot of cleaning a lot of scratches on it the cap the clip needed to be cleaned uh, inside the j bar was badly rusted but we've managed to uh, sort of save that on this pen the lever was very very badly rusted wasn't well we couldn't save it it was it was too badly rusted and obviously the ring inside holding the lever in place was also rusted badly so what i've done i've actually replaced the lever with the with a new stainless steel ring inside and obviously we've cleaned it etc uh, put a new sack in it and now it's absolutely beautiful the size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 134 millimeters capped around the barrel around about 11.5 millimeters in diameter now i'm not going to show you because it's difficult to actually see um it's got quite a warm barrel imprint but the barrel imprint just simply reads lewis's limited who is lewis's limited you may ask well lewis's limited was a english department store the lewis's department store uh, they began around about the 1850s and they actually went through to around about 2010 quite recently um, but saying that um, this pen i am dating around about the 1930s so I, I assume in that particular period the lewis's store had a, maybe a stationery department where they sold fountain pens stationery etc but who made this pen for lewis's you may ask in my opinion and i'm quite confident in saying it is that i believe conway stewart i believe this to be a conway stewart fountain pen now for you Conway Stewart connoisseurs, you look at this pen and there's some little hints. It looks very, very similar to some of the models of that particular era by Conway Stewart. So I believe this is a Conway Stewart made for the Lewis's department store. If you look at the clip there, the clip has a, what we term as this sort of ball clip. And this is very reminiscent of a vintage Conway Stewart clip. It's actually identical, apart from obviously the Conway Stewart pens had the Conway Stewart logo to the very top here. So, in my opinion, this is a Conway Stewart clip. Um, sorry, yeah, a clip. The lever, again, in them days they had a what we term as a lollipop lever or a spoon lever and the, the levers were slightly different but it was quite feasible for Conway Stewart just to install these straightforward long levers for other uh, retailers for other manufacturers to the very bottom here again you, it's difficult to see um, it actually has made in England so we know it's an English made fountain pen now if we take the cap off like so show you the pen in different angles absolutely lovely again now it's been restored it's beautiful if we take you to this section there you can see it's got a black slightly tapered section some of the Conway Stewart pens of this era had a matching um, sort of red red colored section to the top which matched the the barrel uh, but again some of them had this standard black section as well so that's not unusual and again if we look at the the nib there another giveaway is that this i'm assuming this is the original nib i've not changed it and it came with a pen but hopefully you can see it's a conway stewart 14 karat gold nib let's give you some sideways view and another giveaway in my opinion if we take you underneath there you can see that that 
is a nice standard Conway Stewart feed underneath the nib there. So we can see these on lots of vintage Conway Stewart pens. So as I say, all in all, beautiful pen, and in my opinion, and I'm quite confident in saying that this is a Conway Stewart made fountain pen for the Lewis's department store. Now, as I say, I fully restored it, so let's let's have a look how it actually writes. So we dip the there we go, dip the nib in the ink. Let's give it a wipe. Let's bring on some paper. So it'll be interesting to see how it actually writes. So as I've said, what we have is this is a Lewis's Limited. A Lewis's Limited fountain pen. We're dating it around about the 1930s. One of the other things I've actually done, it was very scratchy. I've actually smoothed the nib and it writes absolutely beautifully. By putting a little bit of pressure on, we can get a little bit of variation in the line. So let's try the figure of eights. There we go. So let's show you the there's, there's a writing sample. Lovely writer, writing with a with a nice wet line <laughs> and a beautiful, beautiful smooth writer. Very, very nice. So let's pop that to one side. Let's pop the cap back on. And there we have it. Let's keep it at that. So what we have for you here, not so much of a mystery, but in my opinion, it's a Conway Stewart made fountain pen from around about the 1930s maybe going as far as maybe in the 1940s made for the lewis's department stores who well again they had stores well they started from 1850s stores all over the country their flagship store i believe was in liverpool um we had a lewis's store just up the road in manchester as well so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't be shy, leave a comment, but for now, I'll say bye-bye for now.